What's up guys, thank you for coming back to Hang this week. I thought I'd put a quick video out on a tutorial on how to play Hallelujah for the Cross. It's a song that I think many of you will probably be incorporating into your service flows if you guys aren't already. Great song, really works in a congregational setting as well. Um, so I wanted to grab a guitar and do things a little differently than I did last time when I did the last tutorial for the Phil Wickham tune, but um, I'm going to break down each section of the song in terms of the parts, and then we're going to play it in context so you have some context. Alright, so let me grab my guitar and we'll get started. Okay, so this song consists of five main parts. Props to Jeffrey, the, the parts are really fun to play and very cool sounding. But basically you've got an intro, you have an interlude, a verse two, a chorus, and a bridge. Okay. Um, and what's awesome about this, which I, I learned so much um, from Jeffrey about, is the parts are oftentimes very similar in voicings, um, but play different ways with different accents. Really cool. So we'll get into that in a second. Let's start with the intro. I'm just going to hit record here. And basically the intro, um, and I'll play it clean for you, just again, just some reverb. Um, and I have like a little bit of compression on um, in the in key, in the key of D, which is the original key. We're gonna start here. Okay, pretty easy to play, right? Nice, cool, open. Sounds great with everything else in context. Um, let's jump to the interlude. It's the same part, just an octave up. Really creative, so. Okay, um, so. The next part is we're going straight into verse two. Um, and I'll show you kind of how I do that in a live context. So there's a few different guitar players playing right now. Um, I'm not entirely sure how many layers there are, but I'm hearing at least two, maybe three. Um, so essentially what you're gonna do is, it's kind of a palm muting thing with, and without delay and stuff, you lose some of the context, but uh, essentially you're just playing this. Okay, nothing crazy there, right? Um, so the, the cool thing that happens is when Jeffrey comes back in, um, he's kind of playing that inter, uh, sorry, interlude part again. Um, so it sounds like there's a lot of, there's like accents happening. So like the. Okay, so let's look at the um, chorus section. It's pretty simple to play as well, so you're going to do a hammer on. That's it. Okay, so let's look at the bridge now. The bridge is very similar to the chorus hook, a few different note changes. Okay, so let's look at the bridge for a second. The bridge has very similar um, notes to the chorus riff uh, with a few different changes. So. We'll start on the minor. And from there, the part just repeats. That's it, guys. Um, so I'm going to play the whole song through. Um, and if you're wondering, uh, in terms of the effects, I'm just using... Um, my Helix with the Big Sky, I've got a Cali 76, big box. Um, the Big Sky's on the cloud setting. I'm not really sure what um, it was recorded with, but uh, that's what I chose. I'm using the uh, Klon and the Timmy, and I've just got a bit of dotted eighth delay on. Um, so that's it, so let's hear it in context. One, two, one, two, 
four. Intro. Interlude. Build. Instrumental Breakdown Chorus All right, there you have it. A couple of flubs. I'm human. Get over it. Uh, I'm really talking to myself here. 
Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, thank you guys for checking this stuff out. Again, I so appreciate the support. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Hit that little bell thingy, whatever it's called. I don't know YouTube super well. Uh, but looking forward to seeing you guys soon. Pray that I find a house. Peace.